Welcome back to the Beach Mom Book Forum. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today, which is all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I have a huge announcement for you and I am so excited. If you have not figured it out, which you probably already have, we are doing a Murder, She Wrote readathon. I am so excited. All right. So this is going to take place June 19th through the 25th. So it gives you plenty of time to get your TBR all nice and ready. We got a bingo board with some awesome props. We have a blank bingo board for you to put in exactly the books that you are reading. Let me tell you about the amazing hosts. All right, so myself, you're already here. Welcome. And we have Spencer from Intentionally Bookish. She made the awesome thumbnail and bingo board for this as well as the blank bingo board. So make sure that you give her all the props for that because it is amazing. She reads cozy mysteries. She does romance videos. I love her channel because she is so calming and peaceful. And I need that in my life because that's the exact opposite of me. <laughs> so I just enjoy watching her videos. She's such a ray of sunshine. She always has a beautiful flower. I just, I, I love, love her videos. Go check her out. Go subscribe. Our other amazing host is Storm from Storm Reads. She is fantastic. She reads the gamut of books genres everything you can possibly think of middle grade scary books there's a lot of scary books cozy mysteries fiction the whole gamut like i said she is also as well as spencer huge murder she wrote fans so go check out both those ladies they deserve all the props make sure you subscribe to their channels and let's talk about these bingo boards i'm going to put the one up here with all the prompts on it again Double, triple, leapfrog, whatever you want to do. So let's go from top left all the way down. So we have takes place in the U.S. Cabot Cove. Cabot Cove. You already got one. But also looking through the list, there are 56 books in the Murder, She Wrote series. I saw several that have titles with U.S in the title manhattans and murder savannah there was a savannah one um slaying in savannah madison avenue nashville lots of great u.s places to choose from the next one in the middle we have a weapon on the cover i'm gonna say weapon on the cover or in the title you get what i'm saying so i saw a bunch of those too let me give you a couple of ideas gin and daggers the next prompt on the far right as you can see is drink on the cover so that fills that right there gin daggers you have rum and razors that's book three i'm doing book four and it is a bingo because it takes place in the united states because this book number four Brandy and Bullets, I'm gonna put, put her up right here for a second, takes place in Cabot Cove, Maine. It has Brandy, drink on the cover. Not an actual drink, but it's in the title. And Bullets, weapon. So I have my bingo, yeah. All right, I chose this because it has a snow scene on it and if you've been on my channel long, you know that I live in Florida. So I love the live vicariously through books. So cold, perfect. All right, next one. Let's talk about it. Drink on the cover. Like I said, I named a few. Takes place in Cabot Cove, several of them. The middle slot is a free. It's a wild, your favorite Murder, She Wrote episode. Tell you my favorite murder she wrote episode is episode is season two episode 14 what is it called i had this pulled up so i would remember it keep the home fries burning so again takes place in cabot cove and jessica and mort no not more amos is in this one so amos and seth and jessica go to eat at this um, old historical inn where they dress up in costume for like the servers, which is part of the reason I love it so much. And after they get done eating, there's like this, somebody comes in and yells, hey, is there a doctor? And Seth, of course, responds. 
and a lot of people start getting ill, like in just that lickety split. And one woman dies instantaneously. There might be an outbreak of like botulism in Cabot Cove at the historical Peabody Inn, or is it something more sinister? Jessica Fletcher's on the case. But you can watch any episode you want, and I know that Storm and Spencer are gonna have some amazing suggestions for you. So that is a wild card. Takes place internationally. I saw um, on the Murder She Wrote list, Moscow as a location, Murder in Moscow. I saw another one that was the Highland something. Um, so there's definitely prompts uh, or books for out of the country. Next prompt on the bottom, Hidden Skull on the cover. Until book like 50, when it was Jessica Fletcher, Jessica Fletcher and Donald Bain writing the murder she wrote, there was always a hidden skull on the cover. I don't know if the brand new ones that are like from like 50 on, which is Jessica Fletcher and Terry Farley Mor Moran, I believe is who took it over. I don't know if those do, but before all that, so there's always a hidden skull on the cover. So check those out. The middle one on the very bottom, a location you've been to. That's simple. And the last one, a favorite cover. Pick your favorite cover and go for it. It's all for fun. June 19th to the 25th, mark it on your calendars. Go check out those two ladies, Intentionally Bookish and Storm from Storm Reads. Subscribe to them. And we will see you back here for the Murder She Wrote Readathon. Let me know if you have any questions below. And as always, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.